So if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, you've probably seen advertisements saying, hey, give us your money and we will promote your video and get you more views and get you more subscribers and we're going to make you YouTube famous. You're going to be the most famous person on YouTube with a very, very small investment to our business. We're going to put you in front of thousands of people, right? You've seen those. We've seen those ads all over the place and sometimes it's hard to sift through what's real and what's not. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Well, in today's video, I went and did just that. I actually went and advertised with Sprizzy to see what kind of results I could get. Now, I do wanna say this, this is not an advertisement for Sprizzy. You will see zero affiliate links down below. And if you got targeted by a Sprizzy ad during this video or after this video or before this video played, that is because Sprizzy took their own money and went and advertised on my video because I'm talking about how to get you more views and subscribers and people to your channel. It wasn't my doing. Now I did a video not too long ago. Actually, it was kind of a long, it's almost like a year now. Yeah. Wow. Time flies. Anyways, I spent $250 advertising a few of my videos back in either January or February. I'll put a link for it in the description. I used Google ads or YouTube ads. I was using the YouTube platform to advertise videos, which you go through Google ads. Anyways, I did that back in January or February, made a video showing you guys the results. What came of it, and one of the big questions was, will you get monetized? At that time, my channel was small. I had the watch time hours, but I didn't have the subscribers. And as you probably saw now, yes, I am monetized. Cop the merch ad. So advertising your channel, promoting your channel through the proper source, yes, you can still get monetized which makes sense, right? If you're gonna pay Google to grow your channel, you'd think that they'd kind of pat you on the back, like, here you go, yep, we'll still give you monetization if you pay us money and not some other shady service like Fiverr where they're just paying people to basically click on and watch your video and subscribe and they're not actual subscribers. So anyways, in doing that video and obviously me researching how to grow my own channel and me researching so that way I can help other small business owners grow their YouTube channel to get in front of other people, I obviously get hit up with a lot of advertisements for people saying, basically, hey, give us your money and we'll help you grow your channel. And one of those was Sprizzy. When I looked into Sprizzy, I was like, you know what? They seem pretty legit, the way they go about advertising your channel. They're actually using YouTube or Google ads to advertise your videos, which is the only way that you should be doing that. Please don't go to Fiverr. I mean, I guess if you went to Fiverr, just make sure that they're doing it the right way and they're using like Google ads to actually advertise your video. I went to Sprizzy, gave them a video, and in Sprizzy's defense, I gave them a pretty challenging video to promote. It was a very niched down video. It was for the real estate side of things where I actually talked to real estate agents to help them grow their business. It is a very, very niched down advertisement and the target audience for real estate agents, actual people who are real estate agents, I would say there's not necessarily a whole ton of them actively searching on YouTube, meaning they're not using YouTube as a search platform, they're probably using Google versus, basically what I'm trying to say is the target demographic for real estate agents is a little bit is a little bit older. I'm sorry, you got you just are. It's it's a it's a statistic. It's just go look it up if you're a real estate agent watching this. But they're an older audience and so it was a little bit more of a challenging video. Now it's my understanding that Sprizzy, the way that they advertise is they actually use keywords. So they use the keywords that are in your video, which I'll show you guys, and they use the keywords that you provide to them. Now Sprizzy actually got me some really good results with this video. It did take them a while. It took them almost a month to actually deliver the $25 campaign that I did with them, which fair enough, it was a pretty challenging video to promote given the keywords that they were having to target. It's just, it's not keywords that a lot of people are searching. 
but the results came back at about two and a half cents a view, which is pretty solid. I mean, that's kind of what I would expect to get for that level of a video versus like my credit card review videos that I paid $250 for on that other video. Those I was bidding about seven cents a view and that's because the competition is extremely high on those. You've got some people with some big bucks advertising credit card videos. So it was like this small YouTuber trying to promote his video competing with like billion dollar companies. It's just, you gotta pay a lot more money. So the fact they got me views at two and a half cents I thought was pretty good, but I was a little disappointed with how long it took the campaign to run. Again, like I said, I gave Sprizzy a very challenging video to do this with. It's just a super niched video, not a lot of people searching the keywords that they had. Now one of the things that I did notice with Sprizzy and I also noticed when I ran Google ads was the dislikes that come through on the video. Now, I didn't get a whole lot of dislikes. I only got two, but I also didn't get any likes in that time period. One of them was me. Sorry, I was trying to like offset my ratio, my bad. But that's one of the things that I noticed when running my Google ads for the credit card videos is that I had a lot of dislikes. In fact, I had people like commenting on the video telling me to like go away. Literally, and I guess it's just because they wanted the advertisement to go away. So they would click on it and then click dislike hoping that YouTube would never show them my face ever again. <laughs> so I do want to forewarn you about that. If you're paying Sprizzy or you're paying Google and you're running these ads on your own, I would recommend maybe setting up a video to promote your channel, like a video saying, Hey, this is what we talk about on my channel. Come over, come watch me. And then maybe do it as like an unlisted video because I can guarantee you you're going to get dislikes because people will dislike it. So that way the advertisement goes away. And I actually don't know if that works or not, but that's just what I've kind of gathered. That's what I'm assuming. If I'm wrong, comment down below. But yeah, just expect that if you advertise a video with Sprizzy or Google, you're, you're not gonna get the best likes to dislikes unless you have, you just know exactly who your target audience is and you've got a just amazing video that is just going to the right audience, expect to have some dislikes. Now, if I were to compare what Sprizzy did versus what I would have done, which I'm going to do, so that way we can get a side-by-side -side comparison. When I'm using the Google ads, I actually probably would have targeted my video on specific channels. Now in Sprizzy's defense, they have no idea who the channels are that I would want to be targeting. They don't know who the industry leaders are and I wouldn't expect them to but they don't know who the industry leaders are in the real estate world to put those videos in front of, put those videos in, to put my video in front of their, whatever, to advertise my video on those people's channel. So what Sprizzy does is they are using keywords to target instead of targeting other people's channel. What I would have done because I'm so niched down was advertise on those other people's channels. I would have run ads before the video started and then run the display ads where you see the little yellow, ad that was lame and that's how i would have done it and i probably would have gotten about the same exact view rate and i think by targeting channels that were specific to my niche i think i actually would have gotten more subscribers off of the video and i probably would have had a better like to dislike ratio and the campaign budget would have been eaten up a lot sooner meaning if I threw $25 at Google and I knew exactly the channels I wanted to target where they are only talking about how to grow your real estate business and my video is specifically about growing your real estate business, I think I would have gotten a lot more views and a lot more clicks in a shorter amount of time. But overall, I would say they did a pretty good job. Now, I wouldn't expect to get a whole lot of subscribers off of a $25 campaign anyways, even if I was doing that myself. It's just you're not gonna get a whole lot of views. I mean, you're talking about a thousand views off of a $25 campaign, unless your video is just rock solid, right? It's just, it really captures people's attention. They click through to some of your other videos and you just, you vibe, you click with them, right? You just, you're, you're amazing. Your videos are absolutely incredible and people end up subscribing. But the other metric that you should be going for is the watch time to get monetized. You need that 4,000 hours watch time. And I can say Sprizzy delivered very, very well 
On that, I had 58 hours of watch time during that campaign. That's pretty solid. So to be able to pop $25 down, you're getting two and a half cents a view, and you're racking up 56 hours of watch time in a pretty short period of time. Imagine backing that with your other videos that people are going and clicking on from viewing that one video. You get what I'm saying. Basically, I was really pleased with the amount of watch time that I got on that video. Now, if you're still on the fence about paying a service like Google AdWords or Sprizzy, or if you find another one that is somewhat legit, and by the way, if you find one and if you're not sure if they're legit or not, put it down in the comments and I'll go research them and give you my feedback and let you know whether or not I think you should give them your money. But if you're still on the fence about doing something like that and you're wondering how to grow your YouTube channel, I always recommend TubeBuddy, which I have a link for it down in the description. Yes, it is an affiliate link if you choose to pay them, but they do have a free version that you can use. There's a link in every single one of my videos for TubeBuddy. I actually used to do what TubeBuddy does manually. I used to go into the Google AdWords platform. I would research keywords that are searched a ton and then I would go plug them into YouTube and see what kind of competition was out there. And it was a huge pain in the butt. But I will say I've had a few videos that I did it manually with that I ended up getting a lot of views on. A few of the very important things in the Google algorithm are the keywords that you use, the tags that you use, your SEO in your video, and your SEO in your title and in your description. And TubeBuddy actually really, really helps especially the free version with the actual tags that you're using in your video. It will actually help you pick tags to go into your video. That's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people do on YouTube when I'm researching other people's channels. Not specifically like big YouTubers, they actually do it correctly, but when I'm researching real estate agents channels for things that they're doing in different cities or small service-based businesses that are maybe getting into the YouTube game, to help get some forever traffic rolling for them. That's one of the biggest mistakes that I see them do is they won't have any tags. And TubeBuddy, you can actually see what other channels are using as their tags. And it'll even show you how they rank in the search results for those specific tags. They have a little Google Chrome extension plugin that goes in and every time you click and watch a video, you can actually see what tags that channel is using. And I found this extremely helpful in getting more views on YouTube. So if you don't have anything at all and you're still wondering, you want more views, I highly recommend go get TubeBuddy. It is a fantastic tool to help you go get more views on YouTube. And of course you have the whole other side of things, which is the, in my opinion, one of the biggest metrics is, comes down to your thumbnail. Your thumbnail is what really helps that click through ratio where people see the picture and they're like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I have to click on that and see that. And when you combine that, with a great title, you kind of win. Like the click-through ratio is what's really gonna get you there. So like really focus on your thumbnail. Anyways, that was like a side note. So back to these paid platforms like Sprizzy. If you're gonna pick one, make sure that it's a legit one. And I will say this, Sprizzy is a legit platform. They are going to use Google ads to actually target people for your video. They're not farming out to some bot or another country that has zero interest in your videos. They're actually targeting people that want to see your video. Will I ever use Sprizzy again? I probably won't just because I think that, especially with my niche, I could probably do a better job targeting channels and targeting people on Google by doing it myself. But if you're a channel that's targeting a much broader audience or an audience that is more on YouTube than my channel is that are actually searching the keywords that you're putting into your video, I would say Sprizzy is a pretty good option, especially if you don't want to take the time to go through the Google ads platform to actually set up a display ad or an in-video ad. It's not that it's challenging. I would say that it's a little bit time consuming. And if it's your first time doing it, you're probably going to need to do a lot of research. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube that could help you actually run a YouTube or a Google ad, but be prepared to spend some time to do it versus with a platform like Sprizzy, you can actually just go onto Sprizzy's site, say, hey, here's my video, here's my keywords, I wanna to advertise to the United States, or the United Kingdom or Canada, 
and basically they take care of it for you. You don't have to take the time to go do all of that stuff, setting up the YouTube ad, the Google ad, and running it on your own. Now, like I said, if you've made it this far, the one thing that I will warn you about again is expect dislikes. Expect your like to dislike ratio to not be so pretty. I'm just telling you that to expect the worst. You could have an absolutely amazing video and everybody who sees it, they're like, thank you for advertising and putting that video in front of my face. But expect that some people are gonna be like, look, I don't wanna see that and click the dislike button. It's just kind of the reality of things. So to kind of circumvent that, I would create a video that's very specific for the advertisement and then maybe put it as an unlisted video. So that way, when people go to your channel, they don't see that you have this video with just horrible likes and dislikes. And at any point in time, you can always take it and make it public if it is a video that gets a lot of likes and you want more people to see that video. So if you've just got all this money and your channel's not growing and you're like, man, I wish I could just take this money and throw it at it, I would say give Sprizzy a try. You can Google them. I'm probably not gonna put a link down for them in the description. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. I'm like right there. I'm, I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers, as y'all can see down below. Like we're, we're blowing up. I mean, I'm getting at least a sub a day. So like I'll be getting that plaque, I mean, any day now, you know? I mean, there's just, the channel growth is unreal. I'm just kind of kidding, guys. I get that I'm a smaller channel for the random people who like to comment and leave that comment on my videos, but thanks. Anyways, hit subscribe, smash the like button, comment down below, let me know if you have any questions on Sprizzy or advertising on the Google Ads platform, and I'll try to respond to everybody as fast as I can, and I will see you all in the next video. Later!